All right, folks, welcome to Procreate. So we're gonna show you the first in three different types of masks that you can create here in Procreate. So let's go ahead and open up a 1080 by 1080 workspace. It really doesn't matter. And what I'm going to be showing you here is something called a layer mask. Now, what a layer mask is, the easiest way for me to explain it, you see we've got layer one, I'm gonna rename this base, okay. And now I'm going to take my blue pen, and I know that's a hard brush, and I'm just going to create a blue circle, so to speak. It doesn't matter how sexy this is, it can be absolutely atrocious for all I care. All right, now what a layer mask does. All right, it may not want to fill that. It does not. I'm gonna fill it one way or the other here. All right, now what a layer mask does is a layer mask is a special type of layer. Click on the gray and create a mask layer. Now what this does, layer masks work in black and white. White reveals, you see how this layer is white? Black conceals. So I'm gonna now go to a black brush. Now watch what happens when I write on the mask layer with the black brush you'll see that it removes or hides or masks parts of that layer. So that's what a layer mask does. And it's a totally non-destructive operation because if you ever wanted to undo what you just did, you come up to the white and you just paint in white. And if black revealed it, what is white going, or if black concealed it, what is white going to do? Reveal it. So masks work in black and white. So if you're really on the fence about your drawing, you can add a mask layer to it. And then what will happen is you can adjust the mask non-destructively without damaging the layer below it. This is non-destructive workflow. We're gonna use masks a lot in the upcoming project. This is the easiest way to get familiar with it. A layer mask is tied to the layer below it and white reveals black conceals. Now what happens if you've got subtle shades of gray? You see how I've got gray now? I make sure I'm on the layer mask, and now watch this. We're not quite gray enough. I'm gonna to go to a deeper, darker gray. And you see how now that is not fully masking out the blue because I'm not 100% black. Now if I go to 100% black, oh, we're scorching earth now. And then if I go to 100% white, we're right back in the blue area. So that's what a layer mask is. You really want to be working with layer masks when you're refining your image. A lot of times if I have an outline layer, this is where I use it. If I have an outline layer, so let's just go ahead and outline. And let's see, ink it, uh, modified studio pen it. So if I've got an outline layer that I'm doing, let's say, and I clip around that area, see how the blue is on the outside? What I will usually do then, I'll grab a layer mask, and instead of erasing, I will probably use a layer mask to come in underneath the line. Because then if I erase too little, I can always come in now with the white, and I can bring that blue up to the line. I like to use layer masks as an alternative to erasing because I think it's a more pro step. All right, let's go ahead and call this one, and we'll see you in the next one.